Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. Um, welcome to this video tutorial, guys. This is the video tutorial where we just do a follow-up lesson from the lesson that we did yesterday on electricity tariffs, right? I gave you guys a homework activity to do i hope you guys did it i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys engaged fully with that um homework activity because really in my video tutorials guys i don't just deal with one concept we deal with maybe two we're killing two birds with, 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 with one stone all the time in my video tutorials right in the previous video tutorial guys we were dealing with electricity tariffs and i threw in a bad question okay in this video tutorial or in the homework activity that i gave you guys still we're dealing with electricity tariffs um using the sliding scale method and i also threw in percentage increase question okay so all the time we're doing more than one thing okay so please guys please engage interact okay if you do that if you follow with me you will really do well and if you practice 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 not the day before Okay, we're not going to practice the day before the test and then think that we're going to get it. If you practice weeks before and you, 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 you actually, you know, in it, to win it, you're going to do well. So please engage. Please watch the video tutorials, guys. And also, please watch the ads. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, before we get started with the video tutorial, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Please make sure that you click on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a video tutorial, guys. And also, please don't forget to give this video tutorial a huge thumbs up because really, guys, it helps the channel grow and it helps the channel to reach more learners that want to better their mathematics marks guys we are bettering our mathematics marks we are passing we are getting distinctions okay we are getting in class already with knowledge that we have basically learned from miss lee okay so please please guys interact fully engage fully in these video tutorials and it will really really help you a lot so without any further ado guys let's get started with today's video tutorial so guys let us look at this amazing homework activity that i gave to you guys right so this is i'm um, still under the topic of electricity tariffs right it says that um if you look at this table it says this is the electricity purchase block for 20 amp tariffs okay in the first block we've got um zero to 350 kilowatt hours of electricity so in the first block guys the maximum amount of electricity that can be consumed in that block is 350 and then when you go to block two it's more than 350 kilowatt hours of electricity okay then we're given the tariff rate for 2017 as well as 2018 in 2017 the tariff rate for block one was 104.26 cents per kilowatt hours in 2018 the tariff rate was 106.56 cents per kilowatt hours in um block two um the tariff rate in 2017 was 118 cents per kilowatt hours used and the tariff rate for 2018 for block two was 120.60 cents per kilowatt hours used okay so before we even get started let me just quickly do a recap of how we basically convert our cents per kilowatt hours into rand per kilowatt hours guys okay so remember if you've been going through my um youtube videos there was a video where i explained how many um one cents right are in one rand okay so we know one rand okay to make one rand guys we need how many 10 cents okay so to think of it to think of it practically because it can be a bit hard to 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 understand how many one cents are in a rand okay but it's better to think of it this way in one rand guys how many 10 cents do we have we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten cents in one rand 
Okay, so what we do is we basically just say your 10 cents multiplied by 10, okay, to get how many um, cents are in a rand. So 10 cents multiplied by 10 is equal to 100 cents. Therefore, one rand is equal to 100 cents. Okay, so we're going to be using this conversion to help us convert our cents to rands. So let's have a look at the questions. Calculate in rands, okay, in rands, the electricity cost for the following monthly consumptions, okay, 1.1. We are told that 140 kilowatts hours of units was used in 2018, okay? So we're going to focus our attention on which year, on the 2018 year, okay? And we are told that 140 kilowatt hours of units was consumed. So that means that we're only going to be working in the first block, right? And in the first block, guys, we know that a maximum of 350 kilowatt hours of electricity units can be consumed. However, we do not want the full 350 kilowatt hours. We just want 140 kilowatt hours right so to get the total cost that we will pay right for using 140 kilowatt hours um in 2018 right we're just going to take the 140 kilowatt hours and then we're going to multiply it with the 106.56 cents but i prefer to first convert the cents to rands um per kilowatt hours so i'm going to do that first so I'm going to convert, uh, convert this 106.56 cents to rands first. So 106.56 cents per kilowatt. Okay. To convert this um, into rands, guys, really, what do you do? You multiply by what you want, which is one rand, and you divide by what you have which is the cents, 100 cents, right? Alternatively, really, this is just us just saying 106.56 cents per kilowatt, okay? Divided by, divided by your 100 cents, okay? So if you divide that by 100 cents, this is the same thing, guys. You will get 1.0. Six five six, and like I mentioned, guys, please do not round off your tariffs. Only round off um the final answer. So what do we need to do now, guys? We take that one hundred and forty kilowatt hours, and you multiply it with the tariff that we've calculated in rands. So it's one hundred and forty kilowatt hours. Then you're gonna multiply it with the tariff. This is um hundred uh, one rand point zero six five six per kilowatt hours okay so if you multiply that by the tariff okay of 1.0656 per kilowatt hours you'll find that you'll pay 149 rand and 184 cents okay so we can round off this final answer and that is just 149.18 Please take note, guys, when it comes to rounding off, you need to read your instruction in your test. If it says round off the final answer to two decimal places, round it off. If it says um, keep rounding off um, all the answers to two decimal places, you need to take that into consideration. If it only says only round off your final answer, take that into consideration. Read the instructions when it comes to rounding off. Okay, you can't just do as you wish. Okay, because it will obviously... The rounding off does affect um, the final answer that you have. So you need to obviously read the instructions that are given to you in class. If it says keep rounding off your answers to two decimal places, do that. If it only says round off your final answer, do that. You need to read the instruction. Okay. So the amount that you need to basically pay for consuming 140 kilowatt hours of electricity in uh, 2018 is that 149 rand and one eight cents okay let's go on to the next question calculate in rand electricity costs for the following monthly consumptions 
what happens if you use 380 kilowatt hours in 2017 okay so now we're going to be focusing our attention on 2017 okay guys i'm going to just quickly um convert these units um to um rands the cents per kilowatt um hours to rands per kilowatt hours guys i've already explained we are just going to divide at 104.26 by 100 you're going to divide that 118 by 100 if you divide that by um 100 right that 104 Point two six divided by 100 you will get a tariff of 1.0426 okay and if you divide that 118 by 100 you'll get a tariff of 1.18 um rands per kilowatt okay so rands per kilowatt hours so now let's get to the question we want to calculate in rand the electricity cost for the following monthly uh, consumption, right? So if you used 380 kilowatt hours in 2017, um, how much will you basically pay? We know in the first block, the maximum that you can use, guys, is 350 kilowatt hours, okay? However, that is not enough because we, are want, we want 380 kilowatts. So how many more kilowatt hours uh, or units do we need guys 350 360 370 380 we need 30 more units for us to get to 380 so therefore in the last block we just need 30 more kilowatt hours of units okay so that is all that we are going to need in the second block right so all we need to do now we need to take the units multiply with the tariff for 2017 the units multiply with the tariff, okay, to get how much then you would pay for the electricity consumption. Okay, so if you take 350 kilowatt hours, multiply by 1.0426, you will get 364.91, right? And in the second block, we did mention that we just need 30 okay, kilowatt hours, right? This is very important, guys right we just need 30 we just need 30 because we only consume 380 okay so we just needed the 30 that is the remaining 30 that we needed from that block okay so if you multiply that by the units that we've converted into rands per kilowatt hours so it's multiplied by 1.18 per kilowatt hours if you do that you will get 35 rand and um for 40 cents right okay and then all that we need to do now is to then calculate the total uh cost by adding so the total cost is going to be that 364.91 plus 35.40 okay it'll give you 431 okay therefore the amount that you will pay will be 431 um cents okay cool stuff right and let's look at the last question calculate the percentage increase in electricity charges for block two tariffs from 2018 uh, 2017 to 2018 so here guys we are calculating what percentage increase which is another topic that you guys uh, need to know um in grade 11 grade 12 okay how you calculate percentage increase how you calculate percentage decrease okay so what is the formula that we use to calculate percentage increase okay the formula that we use is that percentage increase right is equal to the new value minus the old value divided by the old value okay so in this case what would be the new it would be the 2018 and what would be the old the old would be the tariff for your 2017 okay okay we want the percentage increase for what the tariffs okay so we're going to be looking at the tariffs 
in this case, whether you want to keep the units in brands uh, per um, kilowatt, or even if you want to just keep it as cents per kilowatt, it really doesn't matter. You'll get the same answer. But what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to use the units that have been given to us because we're just calculating the percentage increase. Okay, so the 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 units is not going to really uh, affect our answer because we, we're getting the percentage increase okay so in this case guys what are we going to do the new for your um block two we're going to just be focusing on block two i'm going to highlight that for you guys so the new for block two is 120.60 so the new is 120.60 oh guys i forgot something you need to obviously multiply it by 100 because you want the percentage increase, okay? So the new is 120.60 minus, what is the old? The old is the 2017, 118, 118, divided by the old, which is 118, multiplied by 100 because you want the percentage, right? So if you do that, you will get 2.2. Um, two zero three three eight nine eight three one. Okay, but I'm just gonna round this off, guys, to two decimal places. So it's gonna be two point two zero percent. Okay, if you multiply by hundred, guys, we know that we're getting the percentage of something. Okay, if you're multiplying by hundred. Okay, how do you know that the hundred and twenty is the new, guys? The recent year is the new one. Okay, and then the older year, okay, is the old one, okay? So 120.60 minus 118 divided by 118 multiplied by 100 because you want the, what? The percentage, all right? And then if you do that, you'll get 2.20%, okay? So that is basically how you get your percentage increase. This formula, um, sometimes they give it to you guys um and i think in most cases they give it to you guys but yeah i don't want to get i don't want to say they'll give you but just know when you're calculating the percentage increase it is new minus old divided by the old okay and then that's how you go about your answer yet again another video tutorial guys done where we've done electricity tariffs and we've also just incorporated just another um topic where we are calculating percentage increase okay i hope you guys enjoyed the video tutorial i hope it was super informative guys and i hope you guys engaged and you did the homework and you are sitting down and calculating because that is really how you are going to learn okay so that is it guys for today's video tutorial in the next video tutorial guys we are going to be tackling transport tariffs okay we're going to be I'm going to be going through an example with you guys. I'll give you guys a homework and a homework activity um, that you guys can just do on your own. Next day, I upload the video tutorial where I explain the homework activity and we move. We move and we pass, guys. So, right? so please, please make sure that you guys engage. And I'll see you guys on my next upload. That is it, guys. And I'll see you guys on my next upload, Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. Guys.